years after a deadly drunk driving accident, the teen driver suing the store that sold the alcohol he drank. It has been two years to the day since that drunk driving accident. And now the Deer Creek teenager charged with murder and a DUI and the death of his friend is back in court. This is video from 2020. It's the aftermath of the crash that killed 16 year old Cole Watson. Police say the car lost control, hit another vehicle head on near Northwest 150th and MacArthur. The car then went into a ditch and caught fire. The 17 year old driver wasn't identified publicly at the time because of his age. News Force's Ashley Moss joining us from the newsroom with an update. Ashley. That's right. Several developments in this story since 2020. We've been following it the whole time, including the effort of Cole's mother to have him honored publicly at his graduation back in May. Also, those murder and DUI charges for Jordan Diaz. He's now 19. They were changed. Court documents that we saw show that he pled guilty as a youthful offender back in 2021 and was offered a sentencing alternative. Now he's suing the gas station. He says supply the alcohol that he drank. If you knew Cole, his smile was so contagious. Exactly two years after the devastating death of Cole Watson, his friend Paige standing near a memorial for him. The pictures have faded, but her memories haven't. Anything that like he would say, it would just make the room really light up. While those wounds heal. And standing here behind me is a main cause of what happens when you drink and drive. A brand new lawsuit brought by Jordan Diaz, also Cole's friend and the driver of the car in the crash that killed him. Police say at the time of the accident, he had a blood alcohol level of 0.074. Now he's placing blame on the convenience store he says supplied the alcohol. The suit filed Wednesday saying the Circle K gas station, at the time it was on West Edmond Road, and its employees made no effort and or no reasonable effort to determine the age of the minor purchaser. Also saying Diaz suffered severe and permanent injuries, physical and emotional pain and suffering and medical expenses. And minors such as Diaz are incompetent by reason of their youth and inexperience to deal responsibly with the effects of alcohol. News 4 reached out to the attorneys for both families who declined to comment because of the pending case. Today, Paige urging wisdom. That life is just so precious, precious and I just feel like people don't really realize that anymore. Now, anyone who suspects a business is illegally selling alcohol to minors is asked to contact the Alcohol Beverage Laws Enforcement Commission. That's so agents can investigate, possibly take action. We'll have that number available for you on K4.com.